Justin Hansen with Grey Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with Salt Pop, the podcast formerly known as Out of Our System. Big name change, and it's confusing <laughs> everyone's brains, yeah. but keep that in mind. Out of Our System is now Salt Pop, which is a very cool name with really cool logos, so check it out. We'll be doing the same thing, but we'll bring you a lot more than just the podcast. So much content. <laughs> All right, let's hop into it. This is the Grey Whale Entertainment update for the release day of 7-9-13, Tuesday, 7-9. Uh, first thing I'm going to go over is my favorite release. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's Don Gibson. It's called Me Moan. Uh, we have it on CD and vinyl. Uh, it's on. He, saw, he signed to Sub Pop Records. Don Gibson goes by another name, so I think he goes by Don Gibson now, but he was originally the drummer for Pearls and Brass, a really cool stoner rock band from Pennsylvania. Um, last album was called All Hell. I was a huge fan of it. It came out in 2011. I made everyone in the office fall in love with it. It's great. It's a uh, country, southern gothic mixed with electronic, and then he has live band stuff on this new album. Uh, I've been listening to it all week, and it's my favorite thing. It's fantastic. It's incredible. It's yeah. really, really He has good. a very deep baritone voice, really reminiscent of like Mark Lanigan, old Waylon Jennings, kind of uh, Scott Walker-ish. Um, I hear a lot of Nick Cave in his voice, too, sometimes. It all sounds like a mess, but when you listen to it, it's, it's really unique, cool. And it all comes together, and I don't even, it's hard to describe, but yeah. you have to check it out. Highly recommend, and this is my recommendation of the week for everybody, and I highly recommend picking it up and listening to it on headphones, because it's even better. There's a track on this new album called Kissing on the Blacktop, which I don't know why, it's just stuck in my head. And as a bonus, we got one, one seven inch with a B-side, unreleased B-side at each location. So we got six of these first person to come in on Tuesday and buy this at any location gets the free 7 inch. It's got two tracks on it and uh, if you're a fan you'll become a fan. If you're not, if you hear this you'll become a fan. So come pick this stuff up. My pick of the week. My favorite thing. Mr. Don Gibson. Uh, next thing we've got for you on Greyface Records were uh, Shoegaze Band. Um, this is their new EP. CD and vinyl as well. Uh, not a lot to say about where they have a couple of Distressor and Pipe Dreams, a couple other albums. Really shoegazy, like heavy guitar fuzz. Very, very awesome. It's right. good stuff. And the vinyl version of this, the CD version is just in a regular digipack, but the vinyl version of this comes with this really cool spiral die cut uh, jacket on the LP. So it's a little bit slightly different packaging, which makes it worth picking up on vinyl as well. So. This is one of those bands that a lot of the, uh, a lot of uh, employees at Greywell like a lot. We, we have basically bought everything they've ever released, all the employees have, so if you see good sales at Greywell, it's because uh, all the employees buy it. Pick this record up. Good. Um, new in uh, Hebronics Unreal. This is the solo project from Daniel Blomberg from Yuck. Yuck released an album what, a year ago, two years ago it's now? a couple years ago, something? they re-released it with some bonus stuff, but it made a huge splash when it came out because it was uh, just a great indie record and it, it was like getting covered everywhere and, and doing really, really well. It was really on the crest of that beach, cool, Kurt Vile, you know... Uh, fuzzy surfy Fuzzy type surf sound. Garage stuff. So. Yeah, the King Tough, all that stuff that came out. It's all, this was right in the beginning of that. So he left the band, and this is his solo record. I haven't heard it yet. I can't say much else than um, I would definitely pick it up because anything uh, anything Yuck did, I really enjoyed. So this is very cool. Preservation Hall Jazz Band has a new release called "That's It." Um, this is the f they don't release a lot of stuff. This is kind of interesting the way they did this. It's got uh, Jim James on vocals. It was produced by Jeff Tweedy and Jim James. Um, a lot of really great people on it. Preservation Hall Jazz Band is amazing. If you ever watch Treme or if you ever just watch them, they, they, they're featured and discussed and they're very important to the New Orleans sound and everything. But yeah, this has Jim James. It's produced by Ben Jaffe. Uh, I said Jeff Tweedy, so I was wrong. That's not on there. I lied. That was the wrong name. That's anyway. the Mavis Staples that came out. Yeah. That was produced by Jeff Tweedy. Thank you. I screwed up. <laughs> So you can edit that uh, G that uh, Jeff Tweedy part. Done goofed. <laughs> anyway, this is on CD and DVD or CD and LP. Pick it up. Very cool. Another interesting project that's out. It's called Thrift Store Masterpiece. It's on. Uh, I don't know who's releasing this. 
It's neat though. It features okay. Thrift store masterpiece. Thrift store masterpiece is a music collective of revolving members devoted to paying homage to the underdog records of years past. The debut album revisits Lee Hazel was 1963 Lost Closet. Trouble is a lonesome town. It features Frank Black, Pete Yorn, Isaac Brock from uh, Modest, Mouse. Modest Mouse, Courtney Taylor Taylor from Danny Warhol's, uh, Eddie Argos from Art Brute, and many more. It's got a really it, it's just that whole record redone in their own way. It's got some really country feel to it. It's really interesting. Um, it's another one of those tribute records that have been popular lately where they get an all-star cast of uh, artists to, to tackle a, a tribute project. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Sound City thing or the, uh, the, the John Fogarty that had a million people on yeah, it. And the John Denver tribute. The John Denver tribute, the the John Denver tribute. yeah. Ray Buddy Holly, all that stuff. Same. Very, but these are all re songs redone, very interesting. It's on Side One Dummy, so that's a cool record too. Indie label stuff, Arts and Crafts X. Um, it's curated entirely original collection of collaborative recordings by artist pairings from the label's roster. So it's got new compositions and other things, but it's, for example, it's every band playing with another band. So it's Broken Social Scene with Years, Apostle of Hustle playing with Zeus, Feist playing with Timber Timber, uh, Hidden Cameras and Snow Blink playing together, Hayden and Jason Collette, Golden Youth with Trust, Amy Milan and Dan Mangan. Very, very cool. So they record these songs together. It's kind of like buying, it's buying like a split seven inch, but it's all in one album for you. This was, it had a CD for Record Store Day or something, I can't remember. But Yeah, this is the vinyl release that a few other stores have gotten this for, yep. this, for this Tuesday. Arts and Crafts X, very cool. Um, something we talked about that came out, now back now out on vinyl, is the new Lonely Island. Um, um, the vinyl package comes with everything that the CD did, and that's including the bonus DVD that has all the digital shorts and the music videos and all that stuff. So if you pick it up on vinyl, you'll get it on vinyl with digital download and the bonus DVD. So if you haven't picked it up yet, this is the best way to do it. And it's on 180 gram vinyl. So that's big heavy duty, and I think the back photo is worth it. Three guys in their horse. Um, a reissue that's out for the first time on vinyl in a really long time. I don't know if it's ever existed, but Dale the Funky Homo Sapien. Uh, What's this album called? No Need for Alarm. Fitch features Bob Dabalina, that song. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, good reissue. Everyone likes Dale if you're a hip hop head. This is a very good, tying in with like the De La Soul and all these other, and the King Ghidorah and MF Doom, all the really cool stuff we've been getting in on vinyl. This is now out as reissue. And then last vinyl reissues I want to talk about. Um, and you'll know us by the Trail of the Dead. Um, Austin, Texas band. Here, take that blue one there. Um, they have reissued everything on vinyl. Um, their first, this is their debut album, self-titled. They've got, was this Madonna? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got one, that one came out a couple years ago, and then they have the Lost Songs. These are all on CD reissued as well. They're all back out, new distribution, very cool. So if you are a Trail of the Dead fan, I highly recommend these two. I haven't really listened to these as much because I didn't, don't listen to them as much as I used to, but these two are great records. So we've got all these. Almost, I think, all locations are getting them, so come check them out. All right. I have metal to talk about, like every week. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is profile a record label. Last week I talked about Napalm Records. Um, this week I'm going to talk about a record label called The Path Less Traveled Records. Um, they're from the Midwest. They're from uh, Illinois. Their Facebook site but page says they are from the middle of nowhere, and in parentheses Midwest, and we found out it's Illinois. So. Yeah, so they're so they're an American label, but they specialize in metal, and they stick to like death, doom, stuff like that. Um, there are actually four releases that are coming out that are noteworthy uh, on this label this week. The first one would be the signed debut of Shroud Eater. Um, it's called Dead Ends. They've self-released uh, at least one album, full-length album in the past, and uh, this one's out now. Uh, this is a little more doomy than their older stuff, but it's kind of a mix of stoner, noise, doom, uh, heavy emphasis on drumming, and female vocals that don't sound like female vocals, but they're really impressive. It's definitely for fans of like old Kylesa and stuff like that. Um, also out are a reissue and a new album by a band called Womb of the Desert Sun. Moon of the Desert Sun is just two guys. One's a bassist, one's a drummer. And uh, it's it's kind of a mix of uh, doom, desert, stoner stuff. Uh, it's kind of experimental, seeing as how it only has two members and they're, they're specializing entirely on low end and bass. Um, but it's very interesting. And the vocals are kind of those exasperated, half-shouted, half-screamed vocals that are, that are uh, kind of cool. So, And then uh, this one is also on Pathless Travel called uh, Abstractor Tomb of the Feathers, or Tomb of Feathers. And uh, this is like more like straight ahead death, doom, metal. So 
Um, on to things that are out on Relapse Records, which is one of the best record labels of all time. Um, three things I'm really excited about that are coming out. The first one is a new album from Unkind. Um, they're the European uh, crust, hardcore D-beat, kind of grindy metal stuff. Stuff that has that guitar tone like Entombed, but is more of the punk hardcore-ish type stuff. Um, really dark, really nihilistic, super depressing, but really, <laughs> really good. So those guys in Europe, they got a finger on the pulse of that. Um, but even dirtier and even filthier is a new album from Coffins. It's called The Fleshland. Um, this actually is on colored vinyl. All the stores have this on colored vinyl. Um, actually, everything we got on Relapse is on colored vinyl, if you can get it on vinyl. Um, Coffins is a Japanese band, and they're just this gross mix of grind, death, and doom metal all together. And uh, you can see from the artwork, they're not Nah, they're not messing around. So, uh, but the vinyl is beautiful. It's a clear purple splatter with white. Um, it's really cool. And also out on Relapse is Lord Dying, Summon the Faithless. Relapse has been pushing the shit out of this for weeks and weeks, hyping this release. Now I understand why. Um, it's definitely for fans of like Kylesa, Red Fang, stuff like that. Really heavy blend of rock and stoner and metal all just kind of rolled together and uh, this actually comes on a really awesome dark pink solid colored vinyl as well so there's that so relapse has got you covered this week um, and then a few other things to talk about that aren't uh, on relapse but are semi-related um, new album from pest this is on agonia records agonia does tons of like black metal and um, stuff related to that um, this is the crowning horror so if you're into black metal this is uh, something that you know based on the track record of agonia you probably want to pick this up. Um, there's a new album from Frontline Assembly. They've been around forever uh, since the, the 90s. It's basically just Bill Lieb and, and, and then Friends. But uh, they've been pretty consistent about releasing an album every few years. He has, and um, they you know, kind of the stalwart of the 90s industrial genre. And um, they've kind of shifted the way they sound a little bit. But if you're a fan, you're still going to want to pick this up. It's called Echo Genetic. And then this was my my stealth release of, of things that I'm really into that I had no idea existed until the day I dug through the box. Um, this is a Swedish artist named Anna von Hauswolf. That's a real name. It's pretty metal. Uh, the album's <laughs> called Ceremony and it features pipe organs on the cover and it's because um, she's a uh, pianist and vocalist. And on this album, instead of playing the piano uh, like she did on her 2010 album, this is entirely focused on playing with uh, like church organs. Um, but she herself is into noise and black metal and things like that. And that influences the mood and tone of this album. It's really dark and really somber with the church organs and stuff. But her vocals are inspired by artists like Diamante Gallus and, and stuff like that. Really emotive soprano vocals. Um, She's influenced by bands like Earth and Barn Owl, stuff like that. So you get this weird drone mix of like drone and church organs and female vocals and all this stuff together. And it's really interesting. And uh, it's it's going to be a big one, I think. I think it'll be, break pretty huge once this is out. So it's already getting a lot of good press. I'm interested. That was a hell of a pitch. <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody? All right, a couple other little things, a couple extra things to mention before we move on to the end. Um, editors have a new album out. We have the bonus double CD edition. It has five bonus tracks. Editors are what? Brit pop, Brit rock. Anyway, or maybe they're maybe they're not even British, but it sounds like that stuff. So if you're a fan of editors, we've got it for you. And then um, Skylar Gray, she's a vocalist that's uh, been doing work with Eminem. Eminem signed her to Interscope. Uh, he actually appears on one track, a track called "Come On, Let Me Ride." And he's um, an executive producer on the album. Yeah, but she's not a hip hop. She's not a rapper. She does vocals. It's uh, I don't know. I got kind of going for that Lana Del Rey thing, except grittier and more real, not so, you know, fake, if you will. <laughs> produced. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still produced, but yeah, yeah. And then Big Sean and Travis Barker on a song too. So uh, Skylar Gray on Interscope uh, should be interesting. Parental advisory, and she's in a slip and bra on the cover, so it's kind of cute. All right, we'll talk about some movies. Gatekeepers. Documentary was uh, playing the Small Circuit Festival. It's about the um, the Israeli Secret Service, right? It's a documentary yeah. about Israeli-Palestine relations and the decision makers that influence the the stalemate that both of those countries are to. The, and, it's and actually the, yeah. all the living leaders, all the former living leaders of the Israeli Secret Service talking for the first time. None of them have done interviews before. This is all 
it's pretty groundbreaking to get all this information. So if you're a, a you know a world politics junkie or you know just any of that stuff, check this out. Um, the host on Blu-ray and DVD. If you are a fan of Twilight, Mormon <laughs> writers that write <laughs> Twilight movies, it's kind of the same idea. Yeah, the Stephanie Meyer yeah, book. That they Stephanie were Meyer's book that she wrote on the side uh, while she's doing the Twilight series. This is the sci-fi version of Twilight, and it's just. If you love Twilight, the host will blow you away, says Bill Zwecker of Fox TV. <laughs> and if you hate Twilight, don't bother. <laughs> so. uh, admission comedy with uh, Tina Fey and Paul Rudd. Filled with heartfelt laughs, a real gem. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Uh, Dead Men Down. This movie stars uh, Colin Farrell, Numi Rapace, and uh, old Terrence Howard. Um, this thing looked kind of neat. It's actually like kind of a dark crime thriller. A com lots of compelling action. suspense thriller. Uh, I haven't seen it. It looked good, but who knows? I'll give that one a try if we got it. And then. The most controversial movie of the year because it's got Harmony Corinne's name on it. Anything he ever makes, people want to freak out about. This is Spring Breakers, uh, starring James Franco and Selena Gomez and Vanessa Hudgens and, you know, underage girls doing weird things to make you uncomfortable on purpose. That's what Harmony Corinne does. I'm excited to watch it, actually. Um, it's this. Uh, there's a no middle ground with this movie. It's a hate or love thing. Yeah, everybody either loves it or hates it. It's basically girls are on spring break. They rob a bank to make some money so they can cut loose for spring break, and they get arrested and bailed out of jail by James Franco's character, who's playing a white gangster, who is a also a drug dealer and arms dealer, and uh, he starts giving them jobs to do. So. And he's got uh, a serious grill going in this movie. So I'm looking for some scuzz. If you want a scuzzy weekend in the hot summer heat, <laughs> this is it. Um, a few. Uh, Really cool release that came out that we're, you know, we got at all locations. It's the Bruce Campbell, Everyone Loves Bruce Campbell, three-pack. It's got My Name is Bruce, Alien Apocalypse, and Man with a Screaming Brain in it for a really good price. I think it's like 12 bucks or something. Some of those uh, lower-budget Bruce Campbell movies that yeah. came out that are they're really funny and campy. and It's and three times the Bruce with more laughs than you can shake a boomstick at. Get it? Because uh, he was in. Because <laughs> yeah. he's in that show. Um, Robot Chicken fans, we've got the uh, DC comic special. This was kind of a big deal. They advertised this forever on Adult Swim when it came on, and I never even saw it because it was advertised forever. And I never, I never knew when it was actually on. They've uh, they've done a few of these specials. They did all the Star Wars stuff, and they've done some of the other like themed episodes or specials. This is their DC send up, and it's just the same thing. Spoofs the DC characters, and well, it's all approved by DC. They got the rights yeah, to all the characters. They could do DC, all that. That's yeah, the big deal about it. So and, uh, it's got outtakes and thirteen never before seen cut. Animatics. Two so. hours of special features it boasts on the cover. So, so you robot chicken fans, there you go. And last but not least, with the news coming down the last couple days that Fred Armisen is leaving SNL, he will not be on the new season, Portlandia Season 3 comes out on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I love this show uh, way more than I should. It's ver I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love watching it. Carrie Brownstein is just fantastic. Fred Armisen's great. Everyone they get involved is fantastic. It's really smart. Really, really funny satire on modern culture, hipster culture, hippie culture, Portland. Yeah, the fact that Kyle McLaughlin's in it makes me happy too. Anyway, Portland season three. I don't know if I'd tell more, but we didn't sell a lot of the last couple seasons. No one really bought it, but come buy it. I know Netflix might have it eventually, but come get it for yourself and have it at home. Watch it whenever you want. It's great. Tons of extra stuff on it. Uh, that seems to be it for the week. Um, there's more stuff always. Come in, check out the stores, have them look at the new release schedule for you. They can you know show you what's coming out, what we have plan what we have on 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 the docket, and uh, remember to watch these videos uh, at the YouTube it, channel. It'll be on YouTube.com/slash Graywell Utah, uh, YouTube.com/slash Salt Pop Official, and uh, you can also find us on at Graywell SLC on Instagram and Twitter. Great.